Uh, not nearly as cool as his suit on Thursday. This guy coached him at Texas Tech. Joey McGuire, the head coach of the Red Raiders, joins us on NFL Now. Coach, thanks for taking the time. What are the Raiders getting in Tyree Wilson? Well, first, thanks for having me. And you see, I, so I'm wearing the silver and black for him today. All right. Um, hey. Man, they're, they're getting, a, first of all, they're great, getting a great human. Um, he was one of our captains. He was one of our leaders. But the one thing I love about Tyree, he loves the game of football. He, he chases the ball as well as anybody I've ever seen at his size and length. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll bring uh, a passion to that organization. He, he, he loves playing the game. So, you know, you know, we, you talked about the person that he is. One thing we also hear is potential position flex. You know, the fact that he can play on right. the edge, that could reduce him inside. When he's joining a team with Chandler Jones and Max Crosby, what do you think that position flex allows the Raiders to do with a talent like Tyree? Well, you know, that's one thing whenever I talk to different uh, GMs and different scouts. I mean, there's nobody like him that was in the draft because – He's played a three technique, four technique, five technique, six, seven, nine. He's dropped into coverage uh, in some simulated pressures. And so that, that was a thing that I thought that was so unique about this guy. He could do so many things. And that's the thing they're getting when if you're going, I mean, everybody knows uh, there's two positions in, in the NFL, the quarterback position and guys that hit the quarterback. And um, that's one thing L.A., I mean, L.A., uh, Vegas is going to be able to do. They're going to be able to put this guy inside and have those two dudes coming off the edge. Well, you got to chase Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert and <laughs> Russell Wilson six times right. a year. So obviously you got to get after yeah. the passer. Joey, you said amazing person, amazing pass rusher, obviously also amazing suit game. You use the right. word unique. I think the suit is unique as well. What did you think of Tyree's draft day get up? And what did you think of him lifting the commissioner off the floor well I loved it you know I it, it showed his personality um, I also loved that uh, whenever he opened it up he had the double T uh, inside so that's the thing about him he's a proud Red Raider um, but I thought it was just enough you know it wasn't just so over the top and then uh, I loved him picking him up man that's just that's kind of who that dude is man he's he's always smiling he's, he's got a great attitude and uh, man, he's got some long arms to pick some dudes up and move some guys out of the way. Coach, you, you mentioned, you know, you, you answered a lot of questions. People came in to talk about Tyree. That, to me, is an interesting part of the process, how different teams come in and, and the, uh, you know, inquisitive they are. What were some of the things that they really tried to push you on to find out about Tyree and if he's the guy that they should join, you know, their squad? You know, you're always looking for uh, background. You're looking for uh, how he gets along with every person in the building. Um, that's what's, I think, really unique. Um, you know, my assistant's going to be the first person to tell you that Tyree would sit in front of in the, her office and talk to her about life. He would go into our recruiting offices and, you know, talk about, talk about I mean, really how we recruit and what we're looking for. Um, and then, you know, he's the guy that transferred. And so um, they want to find out why the differences in different places and, you know, they go all the way back to talking to the high school coach and, uh, you know, seeing if there's any red flags. And that's the thing about him, man. He, he's a really strong individual and he's a great person, has a great family. Um, you know, and I, I think it's going to it's just he's just going to continue to be successful. And he also leaves behind some pretty big shoes to fill here. Joey, who's filling those shoes in Lubbock next year? Well, you know, we've got two edge guys and I think – um, if they have a year that we think they're going to have, both of them will be drafted next year. Miles Cole and Steve Linton. What's crazy, Miles Cole actually, like Tyree Wilson's wing is like uh, 85, uh, maybe 85 and a half. Miles Cole's 86 and a half. Uh, Tyree's 6'6, six, six, Miles is 6'5 and a half. So we might have another one. You know, if Miles can get somewhere between eight and 10 sacks and play. Uh, the way he played this spring, that he's going to have a great opportunity. And so um, we, you know, that's one thing. I'm a defensive guy, and I want to make sure that, you know, we just, we got to score points. And, you know, Texas Tech is known for the air raid, but we're going to play defense in West Texas. Well, I, I love hearing defense in West Texas, especially know that another Texas Tech player, Zach Thomas, is going into the Pro Football oh, Hall yeah. of Fame. 
class of 2023. Absolutely. We'll see that coming up in Canton, and we'll see Joey McGuire try to lead the Red Raiders to another winning season in the Big 12 coming up this year. Coach, congratulations not only on Tyree Wilson, your success, and, and the wedding coming up this weekend as well. Thanks Congrats for coming on. on. That, Coach. All right, man. Thank you all.